Our vision for House of Howe in Budin and in Norbotten is bigger than just our own company vision. Our vision is to create an industry video game cluster for Northern Sweden um, that rivals that that already exists in, in Stockholm. Our plans are quite big. We are hoping to establish ourselves as one of the largest studios in the area, or we already are the largest, but we plan on getting significantly larger. So again, we're 16 or something now. We're hoping for 50 to 200 between the game dev studio and the QA studio that we plan on opening. We also see the possibility of building a quality assurance uh, hub here in Buden as well uh, to serve not just um, northern Sweden video game companies, not just Swedish game companies, but game companies all over Europe um, where right now we see a lot more demand for quality assurance services than there is supply from the existing players. So, and also quality assurance is a great place to um, onboard employees into our industry and to give them that kind of foundational training before they perhaps might take a more um, uh, career path focused on a particular discipline, uh, development, design, art. So. We also have been doing a lot of stuff already though. So we currently, based out of the Seattle headquarters, are already working with a lot of, lot of major publishers and IP holders like Microsoft and Amazon and Sony and we plan on continuing to do so, but we've already been able to bring that work here as well. So currently today in our office, we are already working on projects for people like Minecraft and Roblox and some major, Europe, or some major Swedish publishers that we were just meeting with in Stockholm last week. Well, it's very exciting for us um, to be one of the first on the ground here in Budin um, and to have the connections into the uh, various educations programs here. And for us, that's very strategic um, because we're able to um, work with the educations programs to provide internships and to give um, youngsters a chance to come and work for real in the industry. There's so many different educations now providing different students of different backgrounds both out in the world but also the, the skills that they have and also different levels where there's the both the junior and the senior programs. It, it's great for us because we need to hire a wide variety of people and there's a wide variety of students that are coming out of educations and some of them were basically fresh out of school some of them have also worked in other industries for 10 years and are coming back for re-education because they want to join games and see the opportunity here in Bowdoin to do so and we we plan for career growth within the company um, for junior employees that we find here from the educations to become mid-level employees and eventually hopefully they will become senior employees Sometimes we have students that have already been managers for five years and we can, even though they might be newer to games, we can still capitalize on some of that people management experience that still transfers across. Uh, but everyone's generally always really nice. I think the, the culture shock of coming to uh, somewhere more remote like Bowdoin is also a surprise to some of them and some of the students don't like it that much and they can't wait to leave, but some of them I think find a new home for themselves where they realized that maybe Stockholm wasn't for them because of all the noise and busyness and it being hard to get here but out here there's plenty of space and you can spread out and if you love the outdoors and being a little bit more private I think it's really good and also having places to live is nice. Well I've been amazed by how much there is to do here outside work so uh, much like Washington and much like uh, Vancouver there's a very much a, an outdoor lifestyle that's available here you know from uh, snowmobiling, to hiking, to skiing, to I, I played paddle for the first time the other day, which was fantastic. Um, there is really a lot going on in the, in the local community, and I think that's only going to grow as the population grows with um, Green Steel um, coming to Budin in, in such a massive way. Um, I think there's going to be lots and lots of growth um, putting Budin on the map. I mean, it's very much like Vancouver or Washington just with the beautiful northern lights that unfortunately we don't get. There is a lot more development going on here so there's a lot more opportunity so in that way it, it feels more exciting than Seattle does to me where we go outside and there's you know large giant trucks driving down the road building buildings and that, that's, I don't see that in my own backyard quite as much like Seattle has development but not so close to where we work every day so it actually feels bigger in some ways here. Sure, fewer actual events going on for concerts or whatever as opposed to Seattle, but there's plenty of things going on with snowmobiling and hiking or just animal watching is, is really fun too. Any video game industry cluster needs to start with an anchor tenant. So, you know, if you look at Electronic Arts in Vancouver, um, that birthed the video game industry in Vancouver 40 years ago. 
if you look at Montreal, uh, Ubisoft birthed the video game industry in Montreal. Um, if you look at Stockholm, arguably DICE or uh, Mojang birthed the video game industry there. We, we, we really do want to invest in Budim um, and make a strategic play to be the first mover to be that anchor tenant uh, for the region for, as a whole for, for Norbottom.